you get the truest response to what you've been able to do. And there's nothing better in my mind than being able to help someone else simply because you have the ability to, not because they can repay you, not because you're going to get recognition, but nothing else except for the joy of seeing that person's face who has been aided by what you did. And I would suggest to you that if you could do this on a regular basis, you would build a tremendous amount of self-worth, confidence, and self-esteem. I used to listen to a Christian comedian. His name is Brad Stein. And in all of his comedy, he would get to some serious parts of his show and he would say, you know, If you want self-esteem, you don't get that by getting accolades and plaques and attaboys and hand claps. You get that by contributing to others, putting others first, esteeming others before yourself. And I say take that a step further and esteem them and give and do those things. And if you can do it anonymously, with no expectation of return, that that self-esteem, that self-worth, that self-confidence would grow even more. So I challenge you this week, find somebody that needs your assistance in some way, shape, or form. It doesn't have to be with money. It could be with prayer. It could be with a gift. It could be that somebody needs help carrying a box into a store. Whatever it is, I challenge you to give beyond yourself this week and do it with absolutely no expectation of a return. Don't expect a thank you. Don't expect repayment. Just do it and then continue to do it. And I guarantee you that it will do wonders for your self-worth, your self-esteem, and your self-confidence. The last suggestion that I have for you today might seem overly simplistic, but when you think about the challenges that are in front of you and, you know, the things that hold us back as it deals with self-confidence, I want you to ask yourself in whatever situation that you're in, ask yourself honestly, what's the worst that could happen? seriously ask that question having a lack of self-confidence is because we fear failure we fear non-acceptance we fear just not being good enough but in the end you have to ask yourself what really is the worst that could happen most of the time the consequences of failure are not as bad as we build them up to be in our mind. In our minds, we often build failure up and we put together scenarios that are far worse than what actually happens in reality. So take an honest look and really ask yourself that question. If I'm giving a speech and I stutter on a word, What's the worst that's going to happen? Maybe I have to start over. Maybe I have to make a quick joke about the mistake I made. But then you pick up the pieces and you keep going. I can tell you from personal experience that when I've been in situations where I have been deathly afraid to do something, more often than not, the people that you're interacting with the people that you're afraid to stand in front of, the people that you're afraid to ask that question of, those people are rooting for you. Those people want you to succeed. So ask yourself in that situation, really, what is the worst that could happen? Most of the time, I would tell you that it's not gonna be as bad as you think. And when that situation does happen that you are afraid of, 
because it's going to, if you put yourself out there, if you follow the steps that we've already talked about, you're going to get into a position where you're not going to win every time. That's reality. But I can almost guarantee you that when that situation does finally happen, you're going to look back at it and you're going to say, you know what? wasn't as bad as I thought. And if you can do that and then learn from that situation, then you haven't failed. You found another better way to move forward. And what's more confidence building than doing it better the next time? Knowing a pitfall and being able to avoid it. We're not always gonna get it 100% right. We're human, we're gonna make mistakes. But in the end, you have to ask yourself, if this speech isn't perfect, what's the worst that's gonna happen? More often than not, the scenario in your mind is far worse than reality. So let's give reality a try. Let's put ourselves out there and let's build on those small wins, those successes, and build incremental change. I think that's been a theme throughout this entire episode is incremental change. Use the building blocks of each success to build your self-confidence as you move forward. 